Howdy folks, Corky Duke here. Bomber Crew is the game, and uh, Semper Fidelis is the name of this bomber. This is a campaign I started with the U.S. Marines. Bomber crashed on the 15th mission. Everybody survived, amazingly. And uh, the last mission we flew, we lost two crew members, so we're going to meet the not just the new two new crew members, but the entire crew might as well, since this is the last mission, hopefully. <clears throat> okay, for the pilot, we got Captain Chesty Puller. Shit, I need my glasses. Uh, Lewis Burwell Chesty Puller was born uh, June 26, 1898, and he died October, October 11, 1971. He was awarded Navy Cross, Distinguished Service Cross, Silver Star, Purple Heart, Legion of Merit Award, and the Bronze Star. All right. John Basilo. Gunny Basilo. He received the Congressional Medal of Honor for his uh, action defending Henderson Field at the Battle of Guadalcanal. He also received the Navy Cross posthumously uh, in the first hours of the invasion of Iwo Jima. He was born November 4, 1916, which is the day after my birthday. My birthday is November 3rd. He was killed in action February 19, 1945 at Iwo Jima. Smedley Butler, one of our new replacements. He replaced Archibald Henderson who uh, was killed in the last mission. Uh, Smedley Butler achieved the rank of Major General. He was nicknamed Old Gimlet Eye. I don't know what that's about. He fought in the Mexican Revolution in World War I. He was born July 30th, 1881, and he died June 21st, 1940. All right, Gilbert Johnson. Gilbert Johnson was born October 30th, 1905, and he died uh, August 5th, 1972. He's the first African-American to enlist in the United States Marine Corps, and he's one of the first African-American drill instructors. Except for five, Mac. Of course, we know Presley Bannon. As uh, you're familiar with your Marine Corps history, uh, he was one of the first lieutenants in the Barbary Pirates Wars, where we get our shores of Tripoli and our Marine hymn. And he was, uh, I just have a date of 1776 when he was born, no exact date. <clears throat> Excuse me, some county in uh, Virginia where he was born, I can't pronounce it. Carlos Hathcock. Carlos Norman Hathcock was born May 20th, 1942, and he died February 22nd, uh, 1999. So that was just a few years ago. Well, close to 20 years ago now. Over 20 years ago now. He uh, got 93 confirmed kills in Vietnam. He won the Purple Heart and the Silver Star. James Anderson Jr. was... Uh, Born uh, January 22nd, 1947, and he was killed in action February 28th, 1967. Uh, he won. He was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor posthumously for his brave action at the Vietnam War, and he also won the Purple Heart and the Navy Medal of Honor. Semper Fi, Mac. John Canley. John Canley was born February 1st, 1938. He was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor, Bronze Star, Purple Heart, and Navy Presidential Unit Citation. And apparently he's still alive, according to Google. So he's uh, the only crew member who's still alive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Daniel Daly. He was one of the replacements for uh, John Lejeune that was killed in the last mission, the Bombardier. And he was born... Uh, Dan Joseph Daly on November 3rd, or I'm sorry, November 11th, 1873, which is, uh, well, it wasn't Veterans Day yet, but it would be Veterans Day in 1918. Uh, died April 27th, uh, 1937. So that's the crew. Let's go ahead and pick out, head to the briefing room and pick that last target. And we'll get flying. All right, and this is it right here, Operation Avalanche. Here we go. Let's hope let's hope we can do this. Come back in one piece, bring the bomber back and the entire crew back. So The Waste Tech's battle for this mission is Okinawa. And the reason that's 
the uh, Waste Tech's Battle for the last mission. So I was stationed in Okinawa for a year in 1989 uh, with 3rd LAV Battalion. Uh, Camp Schwab was where I was stationed. If you've ever been to the Rock, you probably know where Schwab is, and maybe you even served on the Schwab. Named after a Marine, uh, uh, Charles Schwab, I think his name was, took out a couple of machine gun bunker, bunkers on Okinawa. So they named a, a base after him. Not too bad, I guess. He was awarded the Medal of Honor. Posthumously, I believe. I'll have to look into it. I just remember seeing the sign in the front of the base that was talking about uh, Private Schwab. So, of course, I've always been a history buff, and I still am. So it's, this kind of stuff's always fascinated me. Come on, get him. There you go. Good shooting, John. Gunny Basil. Well, he's a master sergeant in the game, so he got promoted again. So. Yeah, top turret gunner engineers are master sergeant or uh, uh, what's EA? EA, E7. Well, E7 would be platoon sergeant in the Army. Army Air Corps, anyway, which had pretty much the same rank as the Army, I do believe. And it wasn't wouldn't be established for the United States Air Force till 1948, I think. It's when the Air Force was officially born, and it's separated from a branch of the Army, because it used to be the Army Air Corps. Okay, now we're not flying at high altitude, so I should have good visibility on the ground. Excuse me. I think I'm coming down with a cold again. Gotta be kidding me. You have got to absolutely be kidding me. Five plane. He went down quick, that's for sure. But he's a biplane. That's from the last war. That's World War One. Why are you doing fight flying that in World War Two? Don't fight the current war with the equipment from the last war. You're not going to win. You just won't. I gotta get when I, I get close to the target. I gotta start climbing a high altitude. We have to be at high altitude to use these bombs. I think it's time to start climbing. We don't have very good visibility with the ground. I'm wondering why that is. Come on, boys, drop them. 
Drop them like bad habits. Should be at our altitude. Should be at high altitude. Where's the target at? Where are the targets at? Those are those comets. Damn it, we got a fuel leak. Alright, where's that? There it is. Okay, we're gonna have to drop down. We gotta get a fix on this target. Gotta get a navigation fix. Alrighty. Alright, where is it? That's behind us. Damn it. There it is. I don't know why I can't see the target. It's pissing me off that I can't see the target. It's like the game's doing it on purpose. Alrighty. I should be able to see start seeing the target. I'm seeing nothing but clouds. Okay, we're at our ceiling. We just need to see the target. There it is. I 
That should do it. Yeah, good. Alrighty. We gotta... We gotta drop down, we gotta head back. And defend an area, clear the area of enemies. Hopefully we can get our call Mustang option back quick. coming from the hell's that coming from damn it Backup navigator at. Okay. All righty. The hell are we? We need to go back. Oh, good. We need to start climbing up. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All righty. Enemy. Clear enemy. I gotta destroy that carrier now. We gotta get Chesty healed. Then I gotta get Basilone healed. Everybody's injured. Alrighty. Okay, we're heading back. Uh, okay, good. Chesty looks like he's healed. Alright, Chesty's back in control. Lost our landing gear, of course we did. Alright. Well, we gotta destroy that carrier. <coughs> there it is. Crap, where the hell are you going? Oh! Okay, yeah, that's right. He's going exactly where I want him to go. Alright, where where did it go? Where the hell did it go? And don't even tell me I gotta drop down again to get a navigation fix on it. There it is. There it is.
Damn, I can't see it. I can't fucking see it. Damn it, I cannot see it! Okay, I can see it now. That should do it, I hope. Damn. Got it. Now we gotta head back home. Alrighty. That's it. That's the key, key, key going home. Boy, we're going to need to lean some more fuel out. we can get home. Alright, we need to send some of these guys to sick bay. Oh, we just gotta make it home. That's all we gotta do. We're gonna have to keep leaning the fuel out. Where are we at? Uh, he's, he's in sick bay. All right, we can stay like this. Ooh, we definitely need those call Mustangs. We're definitely gonna need their help getting home. We lost both our landing gear. Unbelievable. Both of our landing gear is gone. Gotta get this thing before it does any more damage to us. Uh, it's disengaging. Probably because our front little friends got here. Boy, it sure is a good sight seeing them. Come on, give me another lean. I got 15 minutes left. That might be enough. Another lean. Gotta get him into sick bay. James Anderson into sick bay. We just might do this. Another hairy damn mission. All right, he went back to the original spot he was he was at. So I just learned something new about the game. If you got a different gunner in a different position than what he's used to, you send him to Sigma, he'll go back to that last gunner position he was in. Okay, looking good so far. We're getting close to home. Another lean. Except for our landing gear, we're doing good on damage. I'm gonna bail everybody out and then have Chesty land the plane. He should be able to land it. It should be in good enough shape. Alrighty, we're looking good. We're getting close to home. I hear the buzz of the little friend helping us. And they're going home. I hope we don't get attacked now that we're going home. Yep, we are. Look at that. Unbelievable. Alright, let's put him to drink. Let's put him out quickly. 
Excellent. Good work. Good shooting, Carlos. 12 minutes of fuel left. And we're getting close to home. We should have one more lean, I think. We should have one more lean, which will give Chesty enough fuel to land this thing after I bail everybody out. That's really the only option at this point. Uh, that way, we save the crew. I mean, if the bomber does crash, it'll only kill Chesky. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But it's what I had to do with uh, the last mission, the 25th mission of uh, Piano Piano Man campaign. It's the same thing happened. We lost our landing gear. So the whole crew bailed out. Billy Joel landed the plane perfectly. So Billy Joel can do it. Chesky Fuller can do it. Give me another lean, damn it. Yeah, we're getting close to home now. Hope I can get one more lean before I bail everybody out. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Bail everybody out. Everybody grab a shoe and jump. And then Chesty will land this thing. Alrighty. Looking good, looking good. We should have enough fuel to land this thing. I'm going to retract the landing gear, but there's nothing to retract. Oh, the tail, the tail landing gear comes down. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But no landing gear, got shot out, got shot away. Let's go ahead and drive down. Emergency die. They'll turn around. Have to turn around. All right, bring the Semper Fidelius home, Chesty. You can do it. All righty, looking good. There's that coming home music. Everybody else is safe. Now we just got to land the bomber. And hopefully Chesky survives. If he does, he'll get a medal. He'll get a couple medals for this campaign. That other crash landing he performed where nobody got killed, which is amazing. Half the starboard wing was blown away, and he still landed the bomber safely without killing anybody. So he gets a medal for that. Just got to figure out which medals to give him. Uh, distinguished Flying Cross. Sounds good. He'll be all right. Definitely a silver star. Yes, excellent. Returned and repaired. Campaign is over with. This is Bomber Bear. Wishing the crew of the U.S. Marines a happy tour home. Oh, of course, Dan Daly and Smedley Butler don't get to go home because they got to fly 25 missions. So they'll have to fly 24 more missions. But anyway, wishing you guys have a great uh, war bond tour. The U.S. Marines that crashed on the 15th mission, now Semper Fidelis, which finished out the campaign. And here we got a little movie that the, the, uh, the uh, game has. So... They got the original crew there with the original bomber, U.S. Marines. Again, same thing. Great job, Marines. Enjoy your war bond hold. And raise plenty of money. Oh, there's the new bomber. Semper Fidelis. Oh, 
Alrighty. That's it for the Marine campaign. Well, thank you for watching. Watch all 25 missions. Uh, there's some really good missions there, especially mission 15, which uh, Chesty lands the bomber um, unbelievably without killing anybody. So you'll get the Distinguished Flying Cross and the Silver Star for that. And uh, of course, landing this bomber, you'll get the Silver Star for that. And then mission 15 will get Distinguished Service, Distinguished Flying Cross for that. So. So I'll put that in the comments. So anyway, crew did a great job. Enjoy your tour home. It raised a lot of money for the war effort because we need it. And we'll go back and uh, I'll see the exact, we'll see the exact stats for this campaign, this crew and this, these two bombers. mission this campaign's finally over with now the next campaign is going to be interesting it's going to be fun it's going to be called the a-team i'm going to have the the cast from the show as crew members so that'll be something you want to watch so subscribe to my youtube channel to watch that here we go semper fidelis you get a total uh we could even upgrade the bomber ah there's no sense in that i'm not even gonna do that 25 missions flown i can't even read that 495 enemy fighters destroyed, 21,911 miles flown, 51 targets destroyed, one bomber lost, two crew lost, 136,995 funds spent, 37 recon photos taken, and 14 crew members rescued. And that will be the campaign for U.S. Marines, Semper Fidelis. Thanks for watching. Uh, CorkyDukes.com is my website. Uh, check out my, my uh, YouTube channel at Corky Duke. And subscribe and like, comment, share my videos. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Bye. And stay tuned for the 18, which is the next campaign I'm going to start doing uh, as soon as I get the nose art done. And uh, and I'll, it shouldn't take me too long, so I might actually start the first mission later on tonight. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.